here in uh, the kind of cloudyish uh, Ocala doing a doing our show tonight. We're here with Jeff. Is that correct? Yeah. For the Rota Haver Boys Ranch. And uh, could you tell us a little about what's going on here? Good job, yes, sir. Uh, it's uh, you know we're, we, the ranch is 63 years old, uh, established in 1950 by uh, Homer Rota Haver, uh, who was Billy Sunday's song leader. If you ever know the history of Billy Sunday, kind of a famous evangelist. And in his latter days, um, he, he made a pretty, pretty good fortune out of compiling the old songs in the, the songbook. He's kind of the pioneer of the congregational songbooks and owned a bunch of timber and uh, down there where we are. And he carved out 790 acres before he passed away. And he said, I want to start a boy's ranch. And we've been doing it ever since, you know, and I've been there 12 years of it. And it's just a tremendous place. It's uh, uh, one of the things we always talk about is Paul Harvey's kind of somebody everybody's heard about. Uh, a few years before he passed away, he spent two nights out there with us, and he said, "I didn't know there was a place like this left in America," and uh, and uh, we believe what he says, and we, we're very excited about it. The boys love it, and uh, you know we just give these guys a chance to have a place to grow up and um, live in a good, clean, secure, safe environment, and just kind of you know it's an ag-related. Uh, environment where they have horses and cows and you know and, and most of these kids come off the street and they've never been around animals like that and it's just a good good place to help boys get a new chance in life now does it really seem to work out in their favor you know the kind of the the ratio you know because when they leave you guys do they you know do they're, they're, obviously they're a lot better than when they got there right yeah in our situation see the boys that we that we take in are from seven to 14 years old and so they have to be school age but after 14 a kid coming in is kind of, you know, he's, he's a lot harder to handle and it's, and it's really difficult to help a kid once they get up in that age group in our situation. And what, what happens is the average kids with us, maybe two to three to four years. And so when they leave us, they're still young, mm -hmm. but we've had a major impact, you know, opportunity to have a major impact in their life. And the thing that, that's so rewarding to us is that almost monthly, we have people show up at the ranch who are now 30, 40 plus years old, and they come back with their family, and they said, I just wanted my family to see where I spent three, four, whatever years of my life. And, um, and you'd be surprised how many of them say those were the happiest days of my childhood was the years that I spent at the Road to Heber Boys Ranch. So to us, that's, that, that means more to us than anything else. That the fact that uh, you know somebody's coming back and saying, you know, this place helped me, made a difference in my life. Now, now, where do they go once uh, they, they leave it? Because they're only there for a certain age and a certain time. Where do they go to, you know? Well, I, they go back to family. Now, uh, most of them are there because of, of a family crisis situation. There's a lot of, you know, abandonment. There's a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of, uh, of death. All kinds of scenarios is what's going on with the family. And the boys come to us out of those scenarios. And within a three- to four-year period of time, there's dynamics changing within their family. So they're always going back to some element of that same family. And that's why you just never know what the results are gonna be. That's why when, until that adult comes back and says, let me tell you the rest of my story, you just, you know, you just have to have faith that while you have them, that you have an, an opportunity to make an impact that will go with that child. And when they start making decisions on their own, they can remember back like these guys to the years that they spent there on the ranch. Okay. And that's our hope. And you build kind of a strong Christian foundation. It's a, it's, it is a Christian organization. Uh, you know, we're kind of, we're very community involved. Uh, we're not what you call uh, so heavenly minded that we're no earthly good type. You know, we, we, we're very practical in our approach, but it is a, it is a, an old fashioned environment. Uh, it's basically, it's the way kids were raised back in the fifties, you know as much as possible within mm -hmm. the environment that we have now. But uh, we're blessed and uh, we love it. And, um, you know, we have people that are uh, extremely dedicated staff. They, they could be doing a lot of things other places, making a lot more money than they make working at the ranch with us. But it's, it's kind of like a calling, you know, and it's something that they believe that, you know, the Lord wants them to do to make a difference. And these guys build cars and, and, and do stuff like that, is that yeah, correct, or uh, repair no, them? Or? Yeah, not a lot of that um, because obviously our car program is a fundraiser. It's a way for us to fund our, uh, our monthly bills, and so we can't afford to put much in them, so, and we only sell a dealer. So basically the work that they do on them is cleaning the cars, 
maybe changing tires, putting a small part on or something like that. They don't get heavily involved in it uh, because, um, you know, we just financially it wouldn't produce income that much for us. But, uh, but they're involved in all kind of OTEC opportunities. And, you know, we got woodworking uh, guys on the ranch that are very good at woodworking, welding. A lot of our boys, for, and it's just kind of a thing that just happens, but there's a lot of our guys that really get into welding, head that direction. Uh, most of our boys, are, you know, they either end up in the military or they end up in some kind of vocational training scenario down the road. So. Oh, that, that's awesome. I, it, it's nice to see that there's actually stuff like that left, you know, in, in, in the words of Paul Harvey, you know, that there's still stuff left here like that, you know what I'm saying? What we tell everybody is our kind of our motto is, uh, you know, you know, you know the story about Oz, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we want Oz to be Oz. We want when somebody looks behind the curtain we want them to see the reality of what's really happening that means more to us than what we can project on the outside strictly from a fundraising scenario you know we need all the money we can get it's all private funded we don't you know it's it's a it's a battle we live with every day but in the midst of that battle is we, it's a real environment it's a it's a place that we're not ashamed for somebody to come and and check us out see what we're doing and and uh, spend time with our boys because that's why we do all these on the ranch fundraisers with the bluegrass and because our motto our, our our thinking is that if we can get somebody to the ranch and see what's happening be a part of those boys lives see how they interact with the staff uh, we've got a donor you know and then they become part of the family instead of somebody's just writing a check to feel good about helping you know an organization so it's Exactly. Now, is there like a website or something that they, people can go to, you know, and, and check out what you got going on? We do. We have the, our current website is rbr.org, and it's going to continue to be that. But we're like, you know, we're we're 63 years old. We're being dragged into the new digital media and all that's involved with that. So we've been kicking and screaming, but we're just about there. So the website's going through a whole remake right now, and, and then they got all the digital advertising and all of that. But uh, rbr.org, you can see what's going on. You can go to that site. You can give through PayPal if you want to give us some money. And, um, you know, it's a real place doing real things, and, and uh, we're excited about people checking us out. All right. Well, hey, everybody, check out the website. And, uh, Jeff, thank you for your time, definitely. And good luck to you. You bet you're not, not a problem. Have a good night. <laughs>